It's been a really crazy week and I honestly don't know what's going on with this website anymore. But this big chungus video that I made, it's doing all right. Half a million views in three and a half days. That is like, that's mental. I've never had a video do that well. And to all the new subscribers and to everyone who watched and liked that video, thank you so, so much for that. I said in the video, if it got 25,000 likes, I would bring it into GameStop and I would try and return it. I really don't want to do that because like, I, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not like socially awkward, but I, I'm definitely not down for that. Uh, so I kind of said it as a joke, but the video has 32,000 likes. That's insane. 32,000 of you hit that like button and and I appreciate that. So in my next video, I will have a clip of me bringing the Big Chungus game into GameStop. Ugh, I, I really don't want to do that, man. I really don't. But for you guys, I'll do it. Uh, also, this whole video is not going to be about Big Chungus. I'm not milking it for views any more than I already did. Don't worry. But I, I do have a couple things to say with it. Uh, I am actually auctioning off this game right now. Uh, it's currently up for $102, which I think is really hilarious. I did want to start the year off right, so I am going to be donating 50% of the proceeds from this sale to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. They provide care and research to children that have cancer and terminal diseases and all sorts of yucky stuff that I would just never, ever wish upon anybody's kid ever. So I want to help them out. So if you guys could be respectful of that, I would very much appreciate it. I know with a lot of auctions like this, the prices get spiked way up and I do think it's funny. And if I was just selling this for my own profit, then go ahead, do whatever you want. But because I'm donating this money to a children's hospital, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys keep the bids legitimate, don't bid more than you're willing to pay. Because if you guys mess around with the bids and it spikes way up and the kids at the children's hospital are going to miss out. I don't care if the game sells for $50 and I don't care if it sells for $5,000. I don't I want my donation to lack because people were messing around with the bids as well as that for all the brand new subscribers that i have all like seven thousand of you what's going on guys it's your boy i don't have like a, i don't have an actual intro so it's it's your boy today i wanted to talk to you guys about a scam that's been going on in the youtube community recently both to just get my opinion out there and also to alert you guys so you can stay away from it jake paul actually uploaded a video on it on the 30th and rice gum uploaded a video on it on the 31st of december of last year which in case you've been living under a rock that was like three days ago it's still weird i'm still writing 2018 on everything it's it's rough. But this site is basically a gambling mystery box site where you pay a certain amount of money to open a case and you have a chance of getting something very expensive. Uh, however, this site doesn't have any of their odds posted. The odds that they did have posted didn't even add up to the products that you were getting. Now, I'd be able to show you this, but because of all the controversy surrounding the site recently, they've actually completely removed the odds from their site so that people couldn't point out the mathematical inaccuracies. That's like actually really messed up. The site's been speculated to be a scam for quite a while, but nobody actually had like proof proof of it until very, very recently. Realistically for me, we're looking at like three key issues here and I'm gonna cover them all individually. This video might be a little bit longer because there's kind of a lot to cover. So just bear with me. First things first, I wanna look at the actual video clips that Rice Gum and Jake Paul uploaded. I've seen part of Jake Paul's because somebody linked it to me when it went up, but I haven't seen Rice Gum's. But I just wanna take a minute to show you guys how much of like a shill job this actually is on Jake Paul's part. I love the prizes. Four times a charm. Oh, Yeezy! Let's go! Yo, that is dope. Adidas Yeezy Wave Runner 700 Solid Gray. Let's go. So you can just see the emotion in his face. You can see that he totally cares that he got these shoes. Jake Paul is a millionaire. Guys, Jake Paul does not need to be playing on gambling sites. Jake Paul only took the video because they offered him probably in the high six figures. This is probably one of the bigger scams to hit the YouTube community in recent years. The last big issue like this that I can really think of is when T. Martin found this new site. So we're, we're not looking at a small issue here. What's in the box? Let's pretend for a second that in the time it's taking me to say this sentence, Jake Paul hasn't made $1,500. If Jake Paul wanted an iPhone XS, he could go to the store and he could buy one. Hell, he could buy the whole store. When you have that much money and you're as arrogant and loud as Jake Paul is with his money, something like an iPhone just it doesn't make a difference. Jake Paul smashed the windshield of some kid's Ferrari. That was scissors. <laughs> no, 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 you won't, you won't, you won't. 
I didn't think he was gonna do it. Winning a $1,500 iPhone on a website means absolutely nothing to him. Fake reactions aside, that is his content and he is over the top like that. So I can overlook that, but after this point, it just turns into a big shill job so that all these kids that he's promoting the site to go over and use Another it. Another feature on this site is you can create custom boxes. I've never done this before, but it says create your own box. He's never done this before because this is the first time he's used this site. He probably didn't even know what this fucking site looked like before he was on here. Jake Paul, step your game up, buddy. To be completely honest with you guys, I, I take a lot of issue with this entire video and it not even rice gums as much as jake paul's because rice gum at least has somewhat of a hype beast following so that it makes sense that he'd be promoting this kind of thing to his fans the biggest issue i take with this other than the fact that the site is a scam which i'll get into in a minute is this next part in his video here keep in mind his target demographic is probably between the ages of 10 and 13 because i don't know about you guys i'm 20 years old i don't know about you but i'm not sitting there watching jake paul videos every day if you guys are over the age of like 14 or 15 and you still watch jake paul and enjoy him let me know like tell me that you do that so i can ban you from my channel i kind of want to see what you guys as fans like it, i want you guys to go to mysteryband.net right now and play this game and tell me and tweet me or something if you guys win this okay because like i want someone to win something amazing he just straight up like i i know it's an ad and he has to promote it but he is telling his 14 year old fans to go and gamble you know what i just found out too jake paul thinks this is a joke he really does, look at this. So H3 made a video about this, which makes me very late to this party. He tweeted it out and Jake Paul responded and said, LOL, love this vid. H3 quoted him and said, you loved being called out for selling a gambling scam to underaged kids. And Jake Paul said, yes, love it. He actually thinks that this is a joke. The biggest thing that I don't understand about all this is how he was able to successfully make and publish this video once again without anybody in his team telling him that this was probably a big yikes and he shouldn't go through with it. Let's hop over to Ricegum's video. Let's see what Ricegum had to say. So, all right. I just want to say the site doesn't have odds on it, but the odds of him actually pulling a $400 pair of shoes on in the second case that he opens is uh, really, really slim. I actually have experience in the gambling community. I used to make a lot of gambling videos almost daily. I wasn't playing on scam sites, but you know, that's, that's just me. Rice gum does have older fans. And I think that this video was a lot more normal for him to take than somebody like Jake Paul, who's primarily a children's entertainer. Still not okay though. It's, it's still not okay. Give me something, please, mystery box. Yo, yo, I'm gonna just keep going at it. Why not? Oh! All right, that reaction seemed kind of forced. I'm not even gonna lie. With my count in the video, Ricegum opened like six or seven cases and he made profit in like three of them, but it wasn't a little bit of profit. He didn't make $20 profit. He made like 500 to $1,500 profit on half of the cases that he opened. He's either the luckiest guy in the world or they're doing something on that site to make, to make him win. Now I'm gonna get into how we figured out that Mystery Brand was a scam and the whole process that went along with that. So a Twitter user by the name of Joe Queef tweeted out on the 27th of December that he has irrefutable evidence that Mystery Brand is linked directly to scam websites. Now, Joe is a personal friend of mine, and I did actually hop into a call with him, and we researched this together. Uh, all of the information in his tweets is his own, but we did actually test out the gift card purchases, and that's how we found out that they were a scam. So he has a Twit Longer post, and he goes over everything in this Twit Longer post. I'll have his tweet linked in the description so you can see the whole thread, uh, but this tweet is very, very important. So G2A is a website where you can buy like random Steam keys and discount games and stuff and mystery brand had posted a $100 gift card on the site now it turns out that they've had this gift card post up for quite a while and uh, since Joe made this tweet they've actually removed it from G2A which once again big yikes for me that's really sketchy that's really like that's not damage control that's just covering your tracks that's that's confirmation that they're doing something that they shouldn't be in Joe's tweet he talks about the $100 gift card and the way that he found out that this site was actually linked to a bunch of scam sites is that with Mystery Brand's G2A account, if you looked at the reviews from the past, it turns out that that same listing was also used for multiple other sites in the past. They just changed the name and multiple of those sites were actually scam sites. So he has screenshots of everything. And I actually saw these for myself. Like I can vouch for the authenticity of these screenshots, which have all since been removed because they took down this gift card listing. But you can see here, July 28th, 2017, good day. I paid for your G2A page on the Galaxy Drop page. Did not get the money. Here is another one, all from the same review section of this mystery brand gift card thing. Uh, I do not have five euro on Galaxy Drop. 
once again, this galaxy drop site keeps getting brought up. Now, a smaller YouTuber called Limit made a video on this as well back in 2017, exposing galaxy drop to be a scam. My personal feelings on this are that Ricegum and Jake Paul had no idea that this site was a scam, but I don't think it's okay that either of them just went into this blindly because the thing that they were promoting did end up being something that wasn't legitimate. I hope that this video made sense. Uh, I really just wanted to make this so that I could get this out to you guys. I know I do have some viewers that are in the gambling community. I just kind of wanted to bring some attention to this and you know, maybe try out a new style of video. So if you guys like these more commentary style videos, let me know. I know this one was a little bit longer because it was multiple videos that I had to cover and it was a pretty big topic. Now, I know I have my own personal feelings about this, but I am actually interested to see what you guys think as well. So if you wanna leave a comment or open a dialogue with me in Twitter DMs or something, you can feel free to do that. Interacting with you guys is one of my favorite things to do. I read every single comment and every single tweet that gets sent at me. So if you guys wanna follow me on socials, I would really appreciate it. The links are all in the descriptions. I really wanna know what you think about this whole topic because this is important. This is something that I don't think we should just let go. And I really don't think this is a good way to slide into 2019. Anyways, guys, I'm Diddle. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the support recently. Also. So make sure to check out the auction that I have going on for this game because I would like to make the best donation to St. Jude's that I can. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next video and peace out.